to another weekly video and I'm so excited to see you guys. It is JD here. All right, so we are in another month. We are in the month of October. And so since we're in a different month, we have a different big question and answer, okay? So our question of the month is, who made you to do big things? And the answer to that question is, God made you to do big things. All right, so let's, let's say it again. Who made you to do big things? God made you to do big things. Awesome job. So today we are going to do our memory verse and our motions, all right? So our memory verse for today is, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord our God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, six. All right, so our motion is, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord our God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31, six. Okay, I want you to do it with me, all right? Here we go. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord our God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31 6. Alright, guys, thank you so much for doing this with me today, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Love my super kid costume because when I'm wearing it, I can do super big things. Stuff like, I can be a super thinker. You can be a super thinker with me. Ready? Think, think, think. Wow, great thinking, everyone. With my super kid's costume, I can do big things like lifting towers of dirty dishes in both hands. 
to the dishwasher and beyond. I can even rescue wild animals. Be free, little one. Hmm, what other super things can I do? Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Hoo, hoo. Doing lots of big things, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm thinking of all the super stuff I can do when I'm a super kid. It's fun to be super. It's true. I know who made you to do big things. Who? Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Hmm. Do I use this one? Or is this the best one to use? <laughs> Oh, hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. <laughs> I'm working on a big job later today, and I'm trying to choose the very best screwdriver to use. <laughs> Sometimes it's so hard to choose. That reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha! Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders! Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Samuel. God told Samuel that he was going to pick the next king. So. Samuel went to this house because one of the brothers would be the next king. Now, if you were looking for a king, you'd probably want someone, hmm, really smart, right? Like this guy. Or, hmm, someone strong. Like him. Hmm, or someone older with experience. Or maybe someone like uh, this guy, or this one, or this one, or this one. Phew. Samuel knew that choosing the next king was a big job. He also knew that God made him to do big things. He trusted that God would help him find the next king. So Samuel looked at all the brothers but God didn't choose any of them. Hmm. Samuel asked Jesse, the father of the house, if there were any more brothers. Jesse said there was one more brother that wasn't home yet. He was out in the field watching over the sheep. Send for him, Samuel said. We will not sit down until he comes. So the brothers waited and waited and waited until finally their brother, David, came home. <laughs> Wait a minute. David's just a kid. He's so young. Do you think he can be the next king? Hmm. Let's see. God told Samuel that David should be the next king. Well, not because of the way David looked on the outside, but because of his heart on the inside. David loved God with all his heart, and that's what God wanted for the new king. Samuel listened to God and told David that God made him to do big things. God wanted him to be king when he was older. <laughs> wow! God chose David to be king and lead all the people. David was going to be in charge one day. He was going to be the next king. <laughs> that is awesome. Samuel knew that God made him to do the big job of choosing the next king. And he knew God made David to be king and lead the people when he got older. God made us to do big things too. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, 
Who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. God made David to do big things. And he made us to do big things, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, God made David to do big things. God made me to do big things, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm ready to be a super kid. Whatever the day brings, God made me to do big things. See you later, super kids. I'm off. Dun, 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 dun. Courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31 6.